We have new developments in an attack last week by a gunman who opened fire on a group of Republican lawmakers as they were practicing for a charity baseball game. Cronkite News reporter Noelle Lilly from our Washington bureau spoke to some of the congressmen. News reports over the weekend are saying that gunman James Hodgkinson reportedly had a list on him naming members of Congress at the time of last week's shooting. That list reportedly included the name of Arizona Representative Trent Franks. This news had Franks and others in Washington wondering, how did we get here? Yeah, I'm really not going to be able to speak to any anything related to any list uh, or even confirm the one that uh, confirm if one exists or not. But I do think that there are a number of different uh, indications now that uh, this was a premeditated situation. I mean, it's very important that we ask ourselves how we got to this point. Other Arizona lawmakers found themselves wondering the same thing in the aftermath of Wednesday's shooting. It's sad when we have uh, people being shot for representing uh, the citizens of America. O'Halloran said that violence is never the answer. We're all Americans and we're, we're entitled to our positions, uh, entitled to how we vote uh, as, as representatives of the people, um, but we need to do it in, in a way that's constructive and, and obviously violence is something that uh, is, is not a constructive uh, process in, in the lives of the American people. Republican Senator Jeff Flake, who was on the field when the shooting occurred, said that Congress is not always as divided as people think. You know, despite what you see on, on cable television or you read on social media, you know, that uh, we don't always uh, fight each other and we know that, uh, you know, we, we shouldn't describe, you know, evil motives to our opponents politically. Flake added that Congress should show a more united front. I think we can all dial down the rhetoric and uh, if we can do that and set the example, maybe it'll filter down. While O'Halloran said that cooperation is always the key. This gets down to people being able to be able to work together, uh, uh, leaders to, that uh, understand the difference between uh, how they comment in the public to, way about issues and uh, communicate with citizens. We reached out to Representative Frank's office, but have not yet heard back from them. Additionally, law enforcement officials have not confirmed the existence of this list or the names on it. Live in Washington, Noelle Lilly, Cronkite News.